Yeah, hi friends, Doc South here, and I was just thinking, I believe it was a Monday morning, oh gee, about 20, 20 years ago now, um, I had <clears throat> I had just, uh, well, I, my wife Sandy and I had a second-hand store uh, in a town here in North Jersey, <clears throat> rather big store, and uh, some say too big, <laughs> and uh, I had, uh, I, I was taking the the weekend receipts uh, i had just dropped them off at our uh at our bank uh which was about no oh, 10 minutes 15 minutes away from our house um and i had the radio on. in fact i think i was listening to howard stern on the radio and they you know he was going howard was going through his usual stick and uh shtick i'm sorry and you know entertaining enough show and all of a sudden i think it was uh baba Bowie came into the studio and um, evidently interrupted uh, Howard, which isn't always the safest thing to do, but um, I think Howard could see that there was something up. And uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Baba Bowie who uh, announced that there had just been um, a plane had just flown into the uh, World Trade Center. And uh, I, it, it, well, things went downhill from there, as you can imagine. It, at first, it sounded like it was a, a crash, and it was becoming more and more obvious, especially when the second plane hit, that it, we were under attack. And um, it was about at that point, I think, when the second plane hit, uh, that um, I was home already at that point, and uh, Sandy was glued to the TV, uh, just very distraught. And uh, it, it didn't look good. Uh, there was uh, flames up on the, you know, licking uh, the sides of the building, people on the roof, uh, some folks already sadly jumping. Um, it, it, it just was, it was absolutely horrible, a, a vision of hell. And the, uh, and, and of course, no one quite knew what was going on except knew it was an attack, except that we all, could obviously see something was up, some kind of act of terrorism. Well, we had our store, and I said, well, we better go down to the store and see what's cooking. We have uh, one of our, uh, one of our uh, co-opers, people who rent little sections of the store, had a TV. We can see what's going on there, but we better go down and see what's, what's cooking at the store. So we, uh, we took the ride off <clears throat> the mountain we lived on uh, and down to... Uh, Long Valley. In fact, on the way down, we took a route where on, and if you remember right, uh, the 9-11 uh, attack happened on a very clear day. And uh, there was one spot where we could see on a clear day, you could see the uh, World Trade Center. And we looked over and indeed we could see the smoke billowing out of it. And it, oh my God, it just gave you, it, it was just an awful thing to see. Of course, the radio's on with more and more horrible uh, updates and well we we got to our store and um, we uh, we put our stuff out on the porch uh, usually brought it in at night put it out during the day uh, at the start of the day so I'd put the stuff out um, and uh, we 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 noticed cars going by um, you, usually you see cars commuting in but this case, the cars were commuting back. They weren't necessarily going to work. They were, I think, if uh, I had the feeling that those were people heading home as fast as they could. Um, and, um, you know, we just, you, you, yeah, as you can imagine, it was, it was bedlam. We had the little TV on in our uh, store again that our co-op owned. And uh, things were just getting worse and worse. And then we heard the door open to the store. Uh, we had like a little bell on the door. And uh, there was a, a couple. Uh, uh, I'd say a couple, I would say a couple in their 30s, young 30s. They were African-American, nicely dressed. They, they obviously were, um, they were, they had come into the store. They must have been on a, a road trip for the day, you know, which is fun. It's, it's a cool thing to do. I had never seen them before. But they looked, uh, you know, you, you get a, I don't know, you, 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 we, we had a, 
just looking at them, I knew these were great people, and uh, you know, I welcomed them in and said, "Come on, look around." But um, listen, I I just want to say, um, I I don't know if you know or not yet, but there's been an awful event on the news, and the um, the um, the the husband uh, looked at me. Says, "What do you mean? Something bad on the news?" I said, "Yeah, haven't you been listening to the radio in your car?" He says. No, he said, we wanted to have a day where the radio wasn't on, just just my wife and I, and we were going to ride around the country and, you know, stop at shops like yours. What, what's wrong? I said, the World Trade Center's been attacked. He says, what do you mean? I, he said, I said, I tried to explain as best I could about the airplanes crashing in, and I said, they're grounding all, uh, all aircraft, all commercial, all aircraft, except for military, is, uh, is to get to the ground as soon as possible, and it, they think there's some other airplanes flying around that may, may be going into other buildings. Um, that we're, we're somehow under attack. He says, show me on the, do you have a TV? I said, yeah, come here and look. He says, uh, he, he goes, uh, I think he and the wife both went to, and we're all looking at this little TV, and again, the smoke billowing and everything just looking worse and worse. He says, oh, my God. He says, dear, we've got to, I've got to get back to work. Uh, he said, "We we our, our our day's canceled. We're gonna have to. I have to get back." I said, "So what do you do?" He says, "I'm a policeman down in uh, Irvington, uh, New Jersey." I said, "Oh yeah, God." I said, "Yeah, you better get back. They're gonna be wanting you. Heaven knows what's going on." He says, "Yeah. Oh my God." And I, I he. Uh, he said, well, we'll put the radio on for the ride back. He says, thank you, sir. He says, I wish I could look at your shop, but I got to I gotta go. I've got to get back there. They're going to need me. And I said, yeah, they are. You better, better get cooking. And uh, God bless, and off he went. Um, never saw that guy again. He never came back into the store. I, um, at least not when I was there. I had never seen him since. He looked... He looked like instantly I had the feeling this guy would have been a great friend uh, and a, a good person to know. I, I, the only thing is, is I hope, I'm sure, probably three hours later, he was probably at the Trade Center uh, doing what he could to help. And I, I hope that uh, it, you know, the, the circumstances of working there didn't get him sick or get him killed. Um, it, uh, he was just such a nice a uh, heartfelt person, and his wife seemed to be a lovely lady, just uh, pretty as pie, and just uh, and seemed to be a very good, uh, a very good wife to this young fellow. Again, I, I have no idea if they, I know a lot of uh, a lot of folks have died since from lung-related diseases, all that dust, and um, he could have pot. Well, I don't think he. I think the the buildings would have collapsed by the time he could have gotten there. And uh, so hopefully, um, hopefully, he wasn't, wasn't, his life wasn't taken that day. But to go, it's funny how that, that event just in a snap turned our lives uh, much for the worse that one day. I don't know. That was really, um, that, that, there was, there were so many signs of peeping, people being good and doing exactly the right thing without even thinking of themselves. And then there was the other side that just, I don't think, could have thought of a worse thing to do. And uh, so indiscriminate. Yeah. <clears throat> Any case, I just thought I'd say, for the folks that went through that day, uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. So be it. Okay, friends, let's hope we don't see any more of that kind of thing in our, on, on our lovely planet. Okay? I'll see you. Bye now. God bless.